Chapter 1141, Absorption Xiao Yan's eyes were fiery hot as he observed the room where the fluctuation had formed earlier. Shock and joy was difficult to hide on his face. He had clearly sensed the existence of the spiritual aura when he entered his training state earlier. Spiritual aura was a kind of extremely mysterious energy. It did not possess the might of Dochi, but it was a great nourishment to one's soul. However, spiritual aura seemed to be mixed in everything and was extremely difficult to sense. During ancient times, alchemists were able to sense spiritual aura's existence and absorb it due to them possessing some special soul skills. However, in this era, the mysterious soul skills had completely disappeared. There were few alchemists who knew how to sense spiritual aura and absorb it. Xiao Yan had tried an unknown number of methods in order to sense spiritual aura. However, his efforts were futile with the exception of his entries into those mysterious states, which had caused him to feel quite helpless. Spiritual aura was really a great luxury to the alchemists of this era. The joy on Xiao Yan's face was gradually withdrawn. He suppressed the fluctuations within his heart and once again slowly sank into his mind. He continuously chanted the word formula he had obtained from the spirit nourishment powder. Xiao Yan shut his eyes and continued chanting for half an hour. The quiet space within the room finally began to show signs of a slight fluctuation once again. The fluctuation did not cause Xiao Yan to feel overly shocked this time around. From his senses, he was able to tell that threads of extremely tiny, chaotic flows had suddenly appeared in this empty space that was filled with natural energy. These flows were hidden very deep and were covered by dense natural energy. If not for the word formula, Xiao Yan would not have been able to detect the flows. Are these spiritual auras? Xiao Yan's mind focused on these faint flows. A moment later, he began to understand something. These kinds of spiritual auras were extremely faint, and they were very weak. Even if they were occasionally absorbed into one's body, they would be crushed by the surrounding natural energy during circulation. No wonder there were very few people who could sense the existence of spiritual auras. Xiao Yan felt joy within his heart as he sensed the existence of spiritual auras for the first time under his normal training condition. If he managed to successfully absorb these spiritual auras, his soul would sooner or later advance to the soul state after being gradually filled by these spiritual auras. At that time, his alchemist level would definitely be able to advance to the 8th tier guru stage. The 7th tier was the grand master stage the 8th tier was the guru stage. The difference between these tiers was one that was extremely difficult to overcome. If Xiao Yan were able to successfully advance to the 8th tier, even those super strong elite dozuns would treat him politely. With this status, Xiao Yan clearly understood the treatment he would receive even from Sun Er's Gu clan would definitely not be poor. After all, a tier 8 alchemist was quite a rare existence even on the Dou Qi continent. In order to obtain a tier 8 medicinal pill, some experts of the Dou Zun class would be willing to lower themselves to act as a bodyguard for someone. This was something that one did not even need to mention. A fiery heart rose within Xiao Yan's heart as the various benefits and treatments he would receive after advancing to the 8th tier flashed across his heart. He hurriedly calmed his heart. After which, he was suddenly stunned. The reason why he was stunned was because Xiao Yan had suddenly discovered that he did not possess a method to absorb the spiritual auras. That anonymous word formula had given him the ability to sense spiritual auras, but did not teach him the method to absorb them. A spiritual aura was not like natural energy where one could randomly absorb it. A spiritual aura was extremely fragile. Even the slightest pressure would cause it to disappear. If one did not possess a special method to extract the spiritual aura from the great amount of natural energy, it was impossible for one to successfully absorb it. Xiao Yan sat in a stunned silence like a fool. At that moment, he felt as though he wanted to cry, but tears would not come out. He had managed to sense the existence of spiritual auras after much difficulty. In the end, he discovered that he was unable to absorb them. It was just like he had discovered a treasury that was filled with gold, only to end up discovering that the treasury was locked when he got there. He could only look at it from the door, 
but could not put the gold into his bag. Ugh, there is still more to this word formula. This part that I have learned is only a small portion of it, Xiao Yan finally recovered after a while. He bitterly smiled, shook his head, and lamented. Xiao Yan sighed. He was dull for a moment before he finally violently clenched his teeth. Everything was always difficult in the beginning. He had already endured through this most difficult beginning. How could he be unable to resolve the subsequent problems? Since he did not have a method to absorb it, he would use the stupidest method. Absorption through swallowing. Xiao Yan once again entered the training condition after having made up his mind. After which, he widened his mouth and violently absorbed the natural energy mixed with spiritual auras into his body. Before Xiao Yan had the time to control this energy, that had just entered his body, the wisps of weak spiritual auras mixed in with the energy were like porcelain vases. With a clang the whips was pressed until nothing was left before disappearing. The first failure did not exceed Xiao Yan's expectations. It would really be strange if he managed to succeed at such a thing the first time around. After refining the natural energy, that he had absorbed into his body, into Dou Qi, which merged into his body, Xiao Yan once again sucked in another cluster of natural energy. This time around, he isolated the wisps of spiritual auras mixed within the energy with lightning-like speed the moment it entered his body. Subsequently, he carefully removed the energy around around the spiritual auras a little at a time, much like removing the silk from a cocoon. This was a task that really tested Xiao Yan's ability to control his mind. With Xiao Yan's current control ability, he only managed to remove finger-sized wisp of a faint spiritual aura from the energy after having failed over twenty times. Xiao Yan sighed in relief, appearing as though he had been relieved of a great burden. He looked at the spiritual aura he had managed to obtain after spending over an hour. Fortunately, he was able to sense the position of the spiritual aura by relying on this anonymous word formula. Otherwise, this kind of stripping method would definitely not work. Moreover, even with this being the case, he had spent a little too much time. However, Xiao Yan understood that once he practiced until he was familiar with the method, he should be able to increase the output. Although it would not be comparable to using an orthodox absorption method, it would, at the very least, enable his soul to fill with spirituality. Reaching the soul state and breaking through to a tier 8 alchemist was only a matter of time. Xiao Yan's mind carefully controlled this tiny wisp of spiritual aura and gradually shifted it up. After which, it entered the spot between his eyebrows. Xiao Yan immediately felt a cooling feeling being transmitted from his mind after this wisp of spiritual aura entered the spot between his eyebrows. His heart was quickly filled with joy. He understood that this was a phenomenon that would only occur after the spiritual aura within his soul grew. Clearly, this method of his might be clumsy, but at least it did something. Regardless of what the case was, it was, at the very least, better than having gained nothing. It is indeed difficult without any orthodox training methods. Xiao Yan involuntarily let out a bitter laugh when this wisp of spiritual aura entered his soul. Just this single wisp of spiritual aura had exhausted one hour of his time. The effort he had put in and the reward he had obtained were not even. However, he did not have any other solution at this moment. After all, regardless of how small it was, it was still something. If other tier 7 high-grade alchemists were aware that he was able to absorb spiritual aura, it was likely that their eyes would turn red from envy. This was the case even if it was only a tiny wisp of spiritual aura. After comforting himself in his heart, Xiao Yan sighed, and he once again focused his mind, entering his training state. Next, he began the incomparably difficult and complicated task of extracting spiritual aura. An entire night swiftly flowed by amid Xiao Yan's tireless training. Xiao Yan, who was seated on a bed, finally opened his eyes when the first rays of morning light landed in his room. His dark black eyes appeared to have gained an exceptional sparkle. After an entire night's effort, Xiao Yan had successfully absorbed eight wisps of spiritual aura. This was a result that he had only obtained after he had become familiar with the method toward the end of the night 
reducing a significant amount of time in the process. The absorption of eight wisps of spiritual aura caused the spiritual aura within Xiao Yan's soul to fill. Hence, a night of exhaustion not only did not cause Xiao Yan to feel the least bit tired but had instead gave him a kind of extremely refreshed feeling. It did not lose to the refreshness of training for an entire night. Who? Xiao Yan let out a long breath and leaped down from his bed. He was quite satisfied with the results of the night. Although the effect of this night could not be compared with that of him having entered a unique state, it won in terms of being long-lasting. As long as Xiao Yan desired it, he would be able to absorb spiritual auras any time he wished. Based on this speed, reaching a Tier 8 alchemist was only a matter of time. After arranging his clothes, Xiao Yan, who felt refreshed, pushed the door open and exited the room. He saw Ye Zhong, the little fairy doctor, and the rest were already waiting for him in the courtyard when he exited the room. Ye Zhong hurriedly raised his head when the room's door opened. Only after seeing that Xiao Yan's condition was excellent did he sigh in relief. Xiao Yan smiled to the group. He was naturally aware of Ye Zhong's anxiety. Today was the day of the so-called Five Great Clan Test. The test today would determine the fate of the Ye Clan in the future. Everything rested on Xiao Yan's shoulders alone. One could even say that the life and death of all the members of the Ye Clan were held in Xiao Yan's hand. Mr. Xiao Yan, are you prepared? Ye Zhong cupped his hands together and respectfully asked. He clearly understood that today was the day that the Ye Clan's fate would be determined. Xiao Yan slowly nodded as he looked at the elderly face of Ye Zhong. He inhaled a deep breath of air and took the lead, walking out of the Ye Manor. This relaxed laughter caused Ye Zhong's tensed heart to slightly relax. Let's go. Today, I shall meet these so-called five great clans and see just what abilities they have. Chapter 1142, Gathering of the Five Great Clans the location of the Five Great Clan Test was in a special hall within the inner part of Holy Pill City. This was an exclusive place where all the clan tests over the generations happened. This place had been built by the Pill Tower. From this, one could tell how greatly the Pill Tower valued this test of the Five Great Clans. This kind of test was not conducted secretly. Instead, it was semi-open to outsiders. Some people with sufficient qualifications and strength would hurry over to this place before the test began. The position of the five great clans was always watched by a countless number of people because everyone knew that this was a shortcut to enter the upper echelons of the Pill Tower. As long as one climbed this large tree known as the Pill Tower, one's strength and reputation would soar overnight. Currently, the Ye Clan's position among the five great clans was precarious. If it failed to pass the test this time around, it would lose its position among the five great clans. Once the Ye Clan lost its position, other factions, who had already been eyeing their spot, would come swarming in all at once. Hence, many factions, who wanted to get into the upper echelons of the Pill Tower, paid great attention to this five great clan test. Xiao Yan's group followed Ye Zhong to the front of an extremely grand examination venue that occupied a vast amount of land. They discovered that this place was already packed with black masses of human heads. Occasionally, there would be groups of people, who appeared to have a strong background, passing through the tight defense of the hall's entrance. They would successfully enter the hall. Let's go. Ye Zhong looked at this enormous examination hall. His fists trembled under his sleeves. This place had etched deep memories into his mind. Each test would make him feel humiliated. Ye Zhong took the lead to walk to the entrance of the hall after uttering those words. Xiao Yan's group followed close behind. Ye Zhong's group, which had suddenly walked forward, was naturally quick to attract the attention of the crowd around. Numerous gazes immediately shot over. Private conversations erupted outside of the hall when they saw the clan badge on the chest of Ye Zhong's group. Quick, look. They are members from the Ye Clan. He he, if they fail again this time around, it is likely that they will fall from being one of the five great clans. Once they lose the protection of the Pill Tower, 
it is likely that the Ye clan will no longer have an easy time. Ugh, that's right. Back then, the Ye clan was so grand. Only the Dan clan among the five great clans was able to compare with it. Unfortunately, now. Luck changes over time. A bitterness surfaced in Ye Zhong's eyes when he heard the conversations of those around. The decline of the Ye clan was undoubtedly the greatest blow to him. He had put in everything for the return of the Ye clan. Now, he had even placed all his hope on Xiao Yan. If the Ye clan failed again, it would be finished. Ye Zhong's group successfully arrived at the entrance of the hall in front of many gazes. The many guards at the entrance glanced at the Ye clan's badge on the chest of Ye Zhong's group in an indifferent manner. There was faint ridicule in their eyes. The failure of the Ye clan during these years was a humiliation that was difficult to wash away. Although their hearts mocked the Ye clan, these guards did not dare to publicly make things difficult for them. They randomly waved their hands, moved their bodies out of the way, and allowed the group to pass. At the same time, they cried to the interior of the hall. The Ye clan has arrived. Ye Zhong was expressionless, appearing as though he had not sensed the disdain from the guards. He led Xiao Yan's group. They slowly entered before disappearing from the sight of the countless numbers of eyes outside. After entering the large hall, a warm light scattered down. Xiao Yan sensed that there were numerous gazes containing various emotions being shot over from the hall as the light appeared on their bodies. Xiao Yan gently lifted his eyes and swept them over the interior of the hall. At this moment, there were quite a number of human figures seated on the surrounding seats of the hall. The surprising thing was that most of these people's auras were quite strong. Clearly, they came from some factions or clans that were quite powerful. Ye Zhong did not bother with the various gazes coming from all directions. He was aware that most of these people were anticipating the Ye clan to fail the test, giving an extremely good spot to them. The seats right at the front belonged to the Dan, CAO, by, Chu clans, the four great clans, Ye Zhong led Xiao Yan's group to the seats for the Ye clan as he softly informed them. Xiao Yan's eyes looked over after hearing this. He did indeed see four seats at the front of the large hall. However, there were only members from three clans currently sitting there. From the badges on their clothes, they should be the Dan, Bai, and Chu clans. Xiao Yan's eyes first paused on the Dan clan, which kept the lowest profile. After which, his eyes suddenly stilled. A gasp was uttered from his mouth because he saw a lovely, small familiar figure among the group from the Dan clan. That figure was the strange, young lady Xiao Yan had met back then at the branch tower when he was taking the alchemist test. The lady also turned her head after appearing to have sensed something when Xiao Yan looked over. Her gaze collided with Xiao Yan for a moment before she hurriedly turned away. She appeared quite timid. This girl is a little unfamiliar. However, by being able to stand in that spot, it is likely that her position within the Dan clan is quite high, Ye Zhong's eyes also paused on the young lady. He frowned before turning his gaze to look at a blue-clothed man beside her. His expression changed as he softly uttered, Dan Xian. It is unexpected that he has come, looks like he is going to represent the Dan clan in the test this time around. Ugh. Xiao Yan's eyes glanced over after hearing Ye Zhong's worried words. There was a tall, blue-clothed, young man standing beside the young lady. This man's appearance was handsome, and his brows revealed a gentleness. However, this kind of gentleness was clearly only meant for the young lady beside him. Even though this was the case, it caused the blue-clothed man to appear gentle and refined. Dan Xian. Xiao Yan mumbled the name in his mouth. Coincidentally, the blue-clothed man also turned his head over. He exchanged glances with Xiao Yan before giving him a warm smile. This person is extremely talented in regards to pill refinement. He could be considered one of the top even within the Dan clan and he is much stronger compared to CAO Dan from the CAO clan. It is likely that the only one who can suppress him within the CAO clan is that witch. If he is participating this time around, he will definitely rank among the top three. 
Xiao Yan slowly nodded while he listened to Ye Zhong's soft voice. He was about to speak when he sensed some icy cold eyes. Immediately, he turned his head, only to discover that these gazes were shot over from the Bai clan's seats. That old woman, who had been taught a lesson by Xiao Yan that day, was viciously staring at him from the seats of the Bai clan. Her expression made it seem as though she hated him. She seemed to feel the desire to pounce over and eat him. Xiao Yan acted as though he did not see her vicious gaze. He turned his eyes and focused on a white-clothed man at the front of the Bai clan. This man's body was covered in a faint chill. His face was cold. An icy glint flashed when he turned his eyes, causing one to be afraid of looking at him. He is the most outstanding member of the younger generation in the Bai clan, Bai Ying. Uh, the Bai clan has indeed sent him, Ye Zhong sighed upon seeing the cold, stern white-clothed man. This Bai clan really did not intend to give the Ye clan a chance to turn things around. Xiao Yan tilted his head. He exchanged looks with Bai Ying for a while. The corner of their mouths were lifted into a hostile arc that was filled with a coldness. While the few of them were conversing, they arrived at the seats of the Ye clan. After which, the few of them took their seats. Compared to the thriving groups of the others, their side appeared somewhat shabby. That Dan Xian and Bai Ying have both stepped into the level of a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. They will definitely be powerful opponents. The Chu clan is still fine. Theirs is only a tier 7 low grade alchemist and will not pose much of a threat. However, Ye Zhong's eyes looked to the CAO clan seats when he spoke until this point. Currently, this clan, which was flourishing, within the Pill region had yet to arrive. Who will the CAO clan send this time around? CAO Dan. Xiao Yan appeared to be aware of Ye Zhong's concern as he softly asked. There are three people within the CAO clan who are called the future pillars of the clan. Among them, the strongest is CAO Ying, the witch, while CAO Dan is the weakest. There is one person above CAO Dan called CAO Zhu, this CAO Zhu's pill refining talent cannot be compared with CAO Dan, but he wins in terms of being far calmer than CAO Dan. After becoming an adult, he left alone and headed out to train. After returning to the clan seven years later, he had jumped to the seventh tier. Based on my guess, he should currently have reached the tier 7 middle grade level. CAO Dan was defeated by your hands last time around. This time, the CAO clan will likely send out CAO Zhu, Ye Zhong analyzed the situation. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. This CAO clan was full of many talents. It was not without reason that it was able to possess such a reputation. At the very least, the Ye clan was much lousier when compared to them. The CAO clan has arrived. A loud, clear cry was suddenly transmitted from outside of the hall while Xiao Yan was sighing in his heart. After which, it continued to reverberate around the hall for some time. Waves of commotion sounded within the large hall when this cry appeared. Quite a number of factions, that had been sitting quietly, hurriedly stood up. Their faces were full of smiles. With the current position of the CAO clan, the clan was worthy of their boot licking. Xiao Yan also turned his head over. His gaze landed on the entrance to the hall. The tightly shut door at that spot was slowly opened and a graceful figure walked in from the shadows with soft, slow steps. This graceful figure walked out of the shadows and appeared in the light. The atmosphere within the large hall instantly became sluggish because of this figure's appearance. This lady had a tall and lovely figure. She was wearing a black-colored dress that emitted traces of her cold and haughty demeanor. Her skin was like snow. Her long hair scattered randomly over her shoulders. Her face was thin, but was exceptionally exquisite, appearing just like a porcelain statue that made one feel a desire to fondle her admiringly. This lady stood at the entrance of the hall. She raised her eyes slightly. Her long eyes contained a slight laziness while emitting a trace of enchantment, causing her to appear exceptionally alluring. Quite a number of people within the hall had become absent-minded because of her enchanting figure. At the same time, the lady's long lips slowly lifted into a faint curl. 
The instant this arc was lifted, her thin and enchanting face was instantly filled with temptation. Chapter 1143, Start of the Test The black-clothed lady's lazy eyes slowly scanned the interior of the large hall. Anyone who was caught by her eyes would feel a fiery heat and fear rise in their hearts. This lady was really filled with temptation. However, behind this temptation, was a greater bone-deep fear. The name of this lady was something that almost everyone seated in this place had heard of. The witch from the CAO clan, CAO Ying. One of the future potential successors for the giant heads of the Pill Tower. That first title might not be a resounding one, but it was sufficient to get a countless number of people to view her as a goddess high above them. A giant head of the Pill Tower. This was a position that possessed a great amount of authority across the entire continent. Anyone seated here would truly experience what kind of feeling a monstrous authority was. The Pill Tower was the holy ground in the hearts of all the alchemists on the continent. One could even unceremoniously say that the giant heads of the Pill Tower were the spiritual leaders in the hearts of a countless number of alchemists. The ability of the Pill Tower to gather people was something that did not even need mentioning. This kind of summoning ability was completely controlled by the desire of the giant heads of the Pill Tower. CAO Ying, the most outstanding genius the CAO clan had ever produced was a personal disciple of one of the three giant heads of the Pill Tower. With the direction she was currently developing in, it was definitely possible for her to become a potential successor of one of the Pill Tower's giant heads a century later. Moreover, if she was lucky, she might even be able to remove the title of potential. At that time, she would be one of the few female giant heads ever since the Pill Tower had been established. The glaring glow over the head of this lady full of such great achievement was sufficient to cause everyone in the hall to look up to her. The black-clothed lady swept her eyes over the hall. She did not sweep her eyes over the others. Instead, her eyes paused on the seats of the Dan clan. Of course, her eyes did not stop on the warm and elegant Dan Xian. Instead, they were looking at the timid, young lady beside him. That young lady bunched her eyebrows together after having appeared to have sensed Cao Ying's focus. Their eyes crossed each other before the young lady quickly moved her eyes away. An enchanting smile surfaced on Cao Ying's face when she saw her look away. Cao Ying shifted her footsteps and walked to the Cao clan's seats. The members of the Cao clan followed close behind. Xiao Yan finally saw a familiar person among this group, Cao Dan. At this moment, Cao Dan was closely following behind Cao Ying. His lowered eyes would occasionally drift to the alluring figure in front of him. There was a deeply hidden fondness within his eyes. Xiao Yan's gaze paused for a moment on Cao Dan before it turned to another strongly built man. This person had a serious face. His eyebrows were quite thick giving him a stern feeling. He was the only male from the CAO clan who did not feel the least bit of pressure when standing behind CAO Ying. I think that person should be CAO Zhu, right? Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his eyes. These three people represented the top strength of the younger generation from the CAO clan. Of course, if it was CAO Ying, it was likely that even some of the older fellows from the CAO clan would be eclipsed by her. This which was really not someone an ordinary person could compare with. Cao Ying led the Cao clan and walked to their allocated seats in front of the many gazes within the large hall. Her footsteps slightly paused when she passed by the Dan clan. She turned her head. Her pretty eyes landed on the weak, young lady as she sweetly smiled, Sister Dan Chen, it has been a long time since we have last met. That young lady, who was called Dan Chen, merely lowered her chin in the face of Cao Ying's greeting. She did not say much. It is unexpected that you have also come this time around. It is likely because of the pill gathering, right? Haha, <laughs> the Dan clan has really put in quite a great amount of effort. Could it be that it is planning to embrace the champion spot of the pill gathering this time around? Cao Ying covered her mouth and softly laughed. Dan Chen appeared just like a little girl under the cold and arrogant demeanor of Cao Ying. 
she did not show the slightest attempt to verbally spar with Cao Ying. Miss Cao Ying must be joking. The champion of this season's pill gathering will definitely land in your hands. The other people don't have the qualification, Dan Xian, who was in front of Dan Chen, smiled and replied on her behalf. You really have a way with words. However, you can forget about getting me to lower my guard because of them, Cao Ying was noncommittal in the face of Dan Xian's words. Her pretty eyes stared at Dan Chen as she softly said, but I really wish to know just how much stronger you are compared to back then after having not seen you for two years. That state. I wonder if you have completely stepped into it. Dan Chen no longer revealed a delicate appearance when someone mentioned something related to pill refinement. She appeared to have turned into another person. Her eyes were focused on Cao Ying as she said, I also wish to know. Cao Ying was not the least bit surprised in the face of Dan Chen's sudden transformation. Instead, she laughed and gently nodded. She waved her sleeves, turned around, and walked toward the seats of the Cao clan. Her footsteps did not even pause when she passed by the Ye clan along the way. She climbed her seat at the front and slowly sat down. Cao Ying completely ignored the Ye clan, but that Cao Dan suddenly paused his steps. He revealed a cold smile to Xiao Yan and said, It is unexpected that you have really intervened in this matter. Xiao Yan raised his eyes, smiled, and ignored Cao Dan. A chill flashed across Cao Dan's face when he saw Xiao Yan completely disregard him. He was just about to let out a cold cry when that strongly built man extended a hand to stop him. That man glanced at Xiao Yan indifferently and said, Let's move. What would it look like if you made a big fuss here? Although Cao Dan felt a little unwilling, he still nodded hearing Cao Xiu's words. After which, he let out a cold snort and walked to the seats of the Cao clan. Are you that Xiao Yan? I have heard Cao Dan mention you. That man stared at Xiao Yan before faintly speaking. Xiao Yan's eyes looked at this man with a swift and fierce body. Looking at his outer appearance, it was really difficult to tell that the other party was a high-tier alchemist. However, this person was indeed as Ye Zhong had described him. He appeared more mature and much calmer compared to Cao Dan. Cao Zhu, one of the three great geniuses of the Cao clan. You are quite well known, Xiao Yan smiled as replied. Genius is not used to describe someone like me, Cao Zhu's eyes stared at Xiao Yan. After which, he glanced at Ye Zhong and the others by Xiao Yan's side. He slowly said, Your level is quite high, but it is likely extremely difficult for you to rescue the Ye clan. Hopefully, you will not end up pulling yourself into a quagmire. Thank you for your honest warning. Xiao Yan smiled as he thanked Cao Zhu. Cao Zhu nodded. He was unwilling to say anything more as he turned around and walked to the seats of the Cao. This fellow is indeed not as simple as that impulsive Cao Dan, who is simple-minded, Xiao Yan looked at Cao Zhu's back, stretched his lazy waist, and softly commented. Cao Zhu's pill refining talent is not better than Cao Dan's talent. However, his achievements are greater than Cao Dan's, Ye Zhong nodded and sighed. This person possesses a strong perseverance. The CAO clan is indeed very lucky to possess both CAO Ying and him. Big brother, what is there for you and that fellow to talk about? You must help me take revenge this time around. As long as you can stop that brat from entering the top three, the Ye clan will be finished, CAO Dan looked at CAO Zhu, who had sat beside him. CAO Dan spoke with dissatisfaction. CAO Zhu glanced at him. He faintly replied, he is not a simple person. I am not surprised that he can beat you. He might really end up getting into the top three this time around. He is also a tier 7 middle grade alchemist, and he has achieved this at such an age. Moreover, he does not possess the usual arrogance of a young person. Clearly, his mental state is good, it is indeed not surprising if he enters the top three in this test. Cao Ying who was sitting in the leader's spot, played with a round jade bead using her long, 
snow white hand. She did not turn around when she heard the conversation between the two. All she did was randomly utter some words. CAO Dan felt even more displeased upon hearing this. It seemed he was unhappy that these two had evaluated Xiao Yan so highly. However, he did not dare to comment on anything to CAO Ying. Hence, he could only swallow the words in his mouth in a dispirited manner. The ground within the large hall suddenly began to shake after the members of the CAO clan took their seats. The position of the five great clans shifted backwards like some mobile ground. In the blink of an eye, an extremely spacious open ground appeared in the middle of the hall. A white-haired, old man, who was filled with energy, slowly stepped out when the arena appeared. His eyes slowly swept over the hall as he smiled and said, Since the five great clans have all arrived, the old me shall not say too much. This season's test will be conducted by me. No one has any objections, do they? K.K., Elder Sheng, with your status in the Pill Tower, who will dare to doubt you? Only C.A.O. Ying replied with a lovely smile when the white-haired, old man laughed because this person's status was a little too high for quite a number of the people seated here. This elder is called Sheng Yao. He is one of the eight great elders of the Pill Tower and possesses a large say within the Pill Tower. He could be described as a true upper echelon of the Pill Tower, Ye Zhong softly introduced him beside Xiao Yan's ear. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He had sensed a vague pressure the moment this white-haired, old man appeared. This kind of pressure originated from deep within his soul. Therefore, he understood that this white-haired, old man was not an ordinary person. You girl, there is no need for you to lick my boots. These old bones of mine cannot endure it, the white-haired, old man grinned. After which, he swung his eyes around the arena and said, It is about time. The candidates for the five great clans test, please enter. The private conversations within the large hall became quiet after these words were uttered by the white-haired elder. Xiao Yan gentle inhaled a breath of air. His fists slowly tightened under his sleeves. He turned his head only to see the anxious anticipation within the eyes of Ye Zhong and Xian Lan. Big Brother Xiao Yan, do your best. Xiao Yan smiled as he looked at Xian Lan's anxious, pretty face. A pride surged out of his heart. After which, he gently stood up in front of the eyes of the entire hall. It is finally about to begin. Whether or not the big boat of the collapsing Ye clan could be saved by Xiao Yan's strength would be decided today. Chapter 1144, Soul Test When Xiao Yan stood up from his seat, four other figures slowly stood up from the seats of the four other great clans. In an instant, the eyes of the people in Hall gathered on the five of them. The candidates whom the Dan and Cao clan had sent out did not exceed Ye Zhong's expectations. They were Cao Zhu and Dan Xian. The Bai clan was represented by the most outstanding person among the clan's younger generation, who was the man called Bai Ying. The key clan's candidate was a small man. Although Xiao Yan did not know who he was, it was likely that this person was not ordinary since he was capable enough to be sent out by the Chu clan. Elder Cheng in the arena slowly swept his eyes over the five people. After which, his eyes paused on Xiao Yan. This elder had been friendly with the Ye clan in the past. However, due to the decline of the Ye clan over the years, the Ye clan seldom came to Holy Pill City. Hence, their relationship had become a lot paler. Nevertheless, Elder Cheng felt some pity for the Ye clan's predicament. He had once helped put in some good words. This had enabled the Ye clan gain its final chance of survival today. The candidates representing the various clans, Please step into the arena. Xiao Yan and the rest slowly walked down in front of the eyes of the entire hall upon hearing Elder Cheng's faint words. After which, they stood in the arena some distance apart while carrying some caution. Dan Xian from the Dan clan greets Elder Cheng. Dan Xian stood straight as he cupped his hands to Elder Cheng and respectfully greeted him. Cao Zhu from the Cao clan. Bai Ying from the Bai clan. Chu Chi from the Chu clan. 
Cao Zhu and the others cupped their hands together and greeted the elder after Dan Xian did. This elder Cheng was one of the eight great elders of the Pill Tower. Their positions were far from what some ordinary elders could compare with. Even the five great clans treated him with respect. Xiao Yan, the representative from the Ye clan, greets Elder Cheng, although such a formality was useless, it was something that still needed to be done. Xiao Yan was not some young and inexperienced person. He would naturally not act arrogant and omit this courtesy. Xiao Yan's words had just sounded when it immediately caused numerous surprised eyes to be thrown onto him. However, all those seated were well-informed people, they were vaguely aware of the relationship between Xiao Yan and the Ye clan. Hence, they did not appear too surprised. After all, this kind of test did not explicitly restrict the five clans from getting the help of outsiders. Haha, <laughs> Xiao Yan Hui, this name is quite frequently heard recently. Elder Cheng fondled his beard and laughed. He was naturally mentioning the matter of the Ice River Valley some time earlier, which had caused a big uproar. The soul-stirring battle that had erupted within Ye City had become one of the topics that was frequently talked about across the Pill region. It was merely some minor fight. How can it catch the great eyes of Elder Cheng? Xiao Yan smiled and replied. How can it be a minor fight? You even dared to randomly attack someone from my Bai clan. Clearly, you look down on my Bai clan. Although the Ice River Valley cannot do anything to you, you should be aware that this is Holy Pill City, not that small Ye City. Bai Ying from the Bai clan by the side coldly laughed after Xiao Yan spoke. Xiao Yan smiled in a noncommittal fashion in the face of Bai Ying's cold ridicule. He did not argue with him. Instead, he crossed his ten fingers in front of him and acted as though he did not hear Bing Ying's provocation. Bai Ying coldly smiled upon seeing how Xiao Yan acted. He had also heard that Xiao Yan was a tier 7 middle grade alchemist. However, this was not enough for him to be afraid of Xiao Yan. The tier 7 middle grade possessed a divide between the strong and the weak. He had already advanced to this level a year ago while Xiao Yan had just obtained the tier 7 middle grade badge a couple of days ago. Elder Cheng did not hinder this kind of disharmonious atmosphere between the two. This kind of thing was commonplace and could not be considered special. He would let them randomly find fault with each other as long as they did not hinder the progress of the test. Since there is no problem, let the test today begin. Elder Cheng slowly stepped back. An item covered by a black cloth was behind him. He extended his hand and pulled off the black cloth, revealing a stone tablet that was around ten feet tall. Actually, it was not accurate to describe it as a stone tablet because this stone tablet was transparent, giving it a crystal-like appearance. Our test is divided into three sections. This first section is soul testing. It is common knowledge that the spirit is the most important foundation of an alchemist. Only with a powerful soul will one possess sufficient spiritual perception and spiritual control, Elder Cheng pointed to the middle of the stone tablet. There was a circular smooth plate there. He said, each of you will insert your spiritual strength into this plate. It will test the value of your spirit. This value is called a soul value by the pill tower. As long as one's soul value reaches above 400, one will have passed the test. The highest record during the soul value test of the five great clans examination is held by Cao Ying. Back then, her soul value had reached 976. No one has broken it until now. Edder Cheng's eyes turned to the leader's seat of the Cao clan when he spoke until this point. A black-dressed Cao Ying was supporting her cheek with one hand at that spot. Her other hand was playing with a round jade bead. Her casual and unconcerned manner did not change just because she had become the focus of the surrounding gazes. Haha, <laughs> since all of you know the rules, let's begin. Who will go first? Elder Cheng withdrew his gaze and smiled as he asked Xiao Yan's group. The five of them fell into a silence after Elder Cheng's voice sounded. A moment later, the man called Chu Ji Fro the Chu clan finally took the lead to step forward. After which, his hand gently touched the stone tablet. 
both of his eyes were shut as spiritual strength moved along his hand and surged into it. Beep beep beep. One could see the smooth mirror plate in the middle of the stone tablet suddenly emit a beeping sound after his spiritual strength was inserted into the stone tablet. After which, the blood-red number on it suddenly soared. This continued for around 10 seconds before it paused on the number 707 in front of numerous eyes. Chu Ji finally released his hand after the number stabilized. He glanced at the number on the plate and sighed in relief. This number was already considered high. Some ordinary tier 7 alchemist would not even be able to reach this number. Xiao Yan by the side fell deep into thought after looking at the number. He was able to sense that this Chu Ji possessed a great spiritual strength. However, this final value was only 707. From this, he could vaguely sense how terrifying Cao Ying was. After all, she had far exceeded this number two to three years ago. He wondered just what level the current her had reached. With this result, Chu Ji slowly stepped back. After all, this number had far exceeded the passing mark. There was no longer a need for him to be worried about anything. Bai Ying closely followed after Chu Ji stepped back. He coldly smiled as he glanced at Xiao Yan. Only then did he place his hand on the stone tablet. He inhaled a breath of air before his spiritual strength erupted from him. Beep beep beep. As Bai Ying's spiritual strength continued to pour out, the blood red number on the plate swiftly began to soar. Within a couple of seconds, it had already reached 700. After which, it continued to beep. It stopped at the value of 785. Some private conversations broke out within the large hall when everyone saw the number on the stone tablet. The faces of the members of the Bai clan were filled with pride. The white-clothed woman, Xiao Yan had met when he was being tested for the tear badge at the branch tower, was currently looking at Bai Ying with a glint in her eyes. Elder Cheng slowly nodded when he saw the number on the Nirvana plate. This result could already be considered to be among the top. This reputation of being the strongest among the younger generation of the Bai clan was really not some mere bragging. After Elder Cheng pressed his hand against the empty air, the conversations within the hall finally began to stop. His eyes turned to Xiao Yan, Dan Xian, and Cao Xiu as he smiled and said, It's your turn. The three of them exchanged glances with one another upon hearing this. That Cao Xiu smiled faintly and said, Since the both of you choose to be the last, I shall be first to step forward and show my inadequacy. TL, it should be noted that in Chinese culture saying that oneself is incompetent is considered humble, but it should not be taken at face value. After saying this, Cao Xiu walked forward and slowly approached the stone tablet. He touched the tablet before his eyes opened wide and an extremely strong energy surged out of his body like a volcano erupting. Beep beep beep. After a surge of energy from Cao Xiu's body, one could see the blood red number on the plate swiftly begin to rise. Within the blink of an eye, it had broken past the 800 mark and finally came to a slow halt at the value of 846. Some shocked gasps appeared within the large hall as everyone looked at the sole value on the stone tablet. This value could already be considered very good among the tier 7 middle grade level. Both of you, it's your turn. Cao Xiu slowly stepped back and spoke after turned his eyes to Dan Xian and Xiao Yan. Dan Xian slightly nodded upon hearing this. He gave Xiao Yan a faint warm smile before slowly stepping forward. Dan Xian had undoubtedly caused a countless number of eyes within the large hall to gather on him the moment he stepped forward. Cao Ying, who had been acting unconcerned, threw her pretty eyes over. Dan Xian, was a renowned talent from the Dan clan. Many people knew that Dan Xian would be the successor of the Dan clan in the future. His ability and character caused him to possess such qualifications. Dan Xian stopped in front of the stone tablet in front of the many gazes. His hand was gently placed on the stone tablet, but his face did not reveal the slightest anxiety. Dan Xian's hand touched the stone tablet. He slowly shut his eyes and a majestic spiritual strength slowly surged out of his body. Even his surroundings had vaguely become distorted. 
This caused some surprise to flash across the eyes of Elder Cheng by the side. His vast and mighty spiritual strength surged into the stone tablet. After which, a quick beeping sound once again resounded over the arena. The blood-red numbers on the plate began to swiftly soar at a speed that caused one's heart to race. The soaring number broke through the 700 mark in the blink of an eye. The next instant, it broke through 800. Only at this moment did its speed begin to slow. However, the number continued to slowly leap up. Finally, it broke through the peak of the 800 category amid sounds of people inhaling cool air. It finally stopped at the value of 903. The entire place was silent as everyone looked at the blood-red number on the plate. Numerous gazes filled with praise were shot onto Dan Xian. He was indeed worthy of being the next successor of the Dan clan, and he was indeed not someone that an ordinary person could compare with. Elder Cheng smiled and nodded at this moment. Since Dan Xian was able to reach such a number, it was likely that he would advance to a tier 7 high-grade alchemist very soon. Moreover, his young age was extremely commendable. In the future, he might even have the qualification to step into the Guru realm. Surprise flashed across Cao Ying's pretty eyes from the Cao clan's seats. The corner of her mouth was lifted into a faint arc. This Dan Xian was indeed quite strong. Although he was still a little lacking, he was considered quite outstanding when compared to others of similar age. The gasps of surprise continued for a while before gradually quieting. After which, everyone's eyes gathered onto the final figure. This was the last opportunity for the Ye clan. If Xiao Yan's final number failed to surpass Bai Ying's and enter the top three, it was likely that the Ye clan would be finished. Ye Zhong's group was also anxiously watching Xiao Yan at this moment. If Xiao Yan failed to enter the top three on the first section, there was really no need to continue the subsequent tests. Cao Ying slightly raised her eyes. Her enchanting, pretty eyes stared at Xiao Yan with great interest. She really wanted to know whether this fellow, who had some reputation, had the ability to save the Ye clan or if he was just acting calm. Xiao Yan slowly inhaled a breath under the focus of all the eyes present. His expression was clam as he slowly stepped forward. After which, his hand gently pressed against the stone tablet. Chapter 1145, Stunning the Four Others All gazes present gathered on Xiao Yan, who was slowly walking to the stone tablet. The testing of the few people earlier might be eye-catching, but the the one everyone was anticipating was still Xiao Yan. This was because he was representing the Ye clan by taking this test. This first test would thus determine the fate of the Ye clan from now on. Whether or not they could keep stay a member of the five great clans would all be determined by this test. Cao Dan's eyes were viciously staring at Xiao Yan's back. The corner of his mouth contained ridicule. If the Ye clan wished to pass this test, they would need to enter the top three in every segment. Currently. The first three places of this soul test were occupied by Dan Xian, Cao Zhu, and Bai Ying. None of those three competitors were ordinary people. Cao Dan did not believe that Xiao Yan really possessed such an ability. Xiao Yan's feet paused in front of the stone tablet under the focus of all the eyes present. He raised his hand and touched the stone tablet. The stone tablet was ice cold. It was as though he was touching a piece of ice. There was a slight piercing pain from the spot where his hand made contact with its surface. This kind of feeling appeared to penetrate deep into his soul, causing him to feel uncomfortable. Xiao Yan, the Ye clan must enter the top three if it wishes to pass this test. Currently, the one ranked third is Bai Ying. His soul value has reached 785. Only if you surpass him will the Ye clan stand a chance. Elder Cheng stared at Xiao Yan from beside the stone talisman. His expression was a little grave as he softly informed Xiao Yan. If the Ye clan were to fail this time around, it was likely that nice words put in on their behalf would not be able to prevent the Ye clan from being eliminated from the five great clans. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. He had a better understanding than anyone that he was currently controlling the fate of all the members of the Ye clan in his hands. Both of Xiao Yan's eyes were shut. 
his entire figure appeared to have instantly become silent. Even his breathing had weakened. Silence covered the interior of the hall. Not the slightest unusual sound appeared. The entire hall appeared to have been covered by a kind of faint pressurizing atmosphere. This kind of silence continued for around half a minute or so. Just when everyone within the hall were looking at each other, an unusually vast and mighty spiritual pressure slowly swept out of the body of the young man in front of the stone tablet, like a large dragon had just awoken. Bang! A deep, muffled sound erupted around Xiao Yan. At the same time, an invisible spiritual storm formed around his body. The space around him had become extremely distorted when this storm was formed. When this storm appeared, Elder Cheng, who was closest to Xiao Yan had a sudden change of expression. His body hurriedly pulled back, and his eyes stared intensely at the blurry figure within that distorted space. It was not the first time that he had seen such an unusual phenomenon occurring during the test of one's soul value. When Cao Ying had taken the test back then, she had also stirred such an unusual phenomenon. However, when compared to Xiao Yan, it seemed that the spiritual storm of hers back then, was a little smaller. Dan Xian, Cao Zhu, Bai Ying and Chu Ji in front of the stone tablet also experienced a change in expressions when they saw this unexpected change. They hurriedly took over ten steps back. At the same time, their eyes were shocked as they stared at that figure, especially Bai Ying. His expression was exceptionally shocked. Never had he expected Xiao Yan to reach such a shocking level. The jade bead rotating in Cao Ying's hand, while she sat on the Cao clan's seat, suddenly paused. Her temptation-filled eyes were focused on that blurry figure in front of the stone tablet. Her face finally revealed a surprised expression. She had actually misjudged this time around. Moreover, she did not expect this young man called Xiao Yan to hide his true abilities so deeply. The invisible spiritual storm stirred an uproar throughout the entire hall. It was a while before the storm finally weakened. Around a dozen plus seconds later, it finally completely disappeared. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew the hand in contact with the stone tablet after the spiritual storm scattered. After which, he turned his eyes to the plate in the middle of the stone tablet at the same time as everyone else. 1395 the blood-red number remained on the plate in a startling manner. That number caused the entire place to turn dead silent. Many eyes seemed to have solidified as they remained on the number without being able to shift away. The silence continued in the large hall for a moment before it was broken by numerous sounds of cold air being inhaled. Many eyes contained shock, that was difficult to hide, as they looked at the somewhat skinny back of the figure in front of the stone tablet. 1395. This number was more than 300 points greater than the record Cao Ying had set back then. When Cao Ying had broken the record for the first time back then, she had been bestowed the title of witch, yet Xiao Yan had currently broken the record that she had left behind. Moreover, he had even tossed the record far behind him. This result was really shocking. Cao Ying's eyes were also startled when she saw the blood red number. Her eyes immediately landed on Xiao Yan with some interest. She softly laughed, Interesting, this Central Plains region does indeed have many hidden talents. I have never discovered someone like this in the past. Looks like the pill gathering will be extremely interesting this time around. Cao Dan, who was behind her, also stared at the stone tablet in a stunned manner. He only recovered a moment later. A jealousy inevitably flashed across his eyes when he heard the admiration and high regard suggested in Cao Ying's tone. He clearly understood Cao Ying's character. One could count the number of people from the same generation whom this extremely cold woman viewed seriously with one's hands. Moreover, he clearly understood that he had yet to attain that qualification. However, that Xiao Yan, whom he had mocked a couple of times, had reached this stage ahead of him. This was a blow that caused him to feel extremely terrible. Ye Zhong and Xian Lan in the Ye clan seats, who had tensed hearts, finally sighed in relief at this moment. The both of them appeared to have been relieved of a great burden. 
the result that Xiao Yan had obtained was too dazzling. It had even reached a kind of dreamlike stage. They never doubted Xiao Yan's abilities. At the same time, however, they did not expect him to break the record set by the witch from the CAO clan on the first test. The Ye clan is saved. Ye Zhong's excited hand slightly trembled. His various worries during this period of time had completely disappeared at this moment. He believed that with Xiao Yan's extraordinary abilities, it should not be too difficult for Xiao Yan to obtain at least a third place in the remaining two sections. Elder Cheng by the side of the stone tablet was startled as he looked at the blood-red number. A moment later, he finally nodded. After which, his eyes looking at Xiao Yan had become unusually hot. 1,395 other people might not be certain about what this number represented but he clearly understood it. This represented that Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had already reached the Tier 7 high grade level. Moreover, the most precious thing of all was Xiao Yan's age. By being able to reach the Tier 7 high grade level at such an age, it was likely that only Cao Ying among the younger generation could compare to him. In other words, the Pill Tower had discovered another demon-like genius after Cao Ying. Of course, Elder Cheng would naturally not think that Xiao Yan could really stand shoulder to shoulder with Cao Ying. After all, that record was something that Cao Ying had created two to three years ago. Today, it was likely that she had already reached an even more terrifying level. Xiao Yan's age was similar to hers. If one were to really compare them, it was likely that Cao Ying was a little better. This was indeed the case based on common sense. However, how would he know that this current number was not Xiao Yan's full strength? One should always hold a little back in everything one does leave oneself with some room to form tactics. Xiao Yan was used to doing this. Moreover, creating this result was also something that was beyond Xiao Yan's expectation. Although Xiao Yan did not anticipate it, he was able to understand why his soul value was this high. This was related to the spiritual aura within his soul. Although spiritual aura did not possess the great might of Dou Qi, it appeared to be able to cause the value of one's soul to be raised. If one alchemist had spiritual aura and another did not, the result of the test would definitely be vastly different even if they were of the same tier. Xiao Yan had quietly suppressed the spiritual storm when it had appeared earlier and prevented his spiritual strength from completely erupting. Ultimately, he believed that holding something back would provide him with the greatest guarantee of security. Haha, <laughs> not bad, not bad. Elder Cheng fondled his beard and laughed. From the looks of it, Bi appeared extremely excited. If he were to report this matter to the top it was likely going to stir quite a large commotion. The soul test will end here. The person ranked first is naturally Xiao Yan, who represents the Ye clan. Additionally, I will also congratulate him for breaking the record. It is likely that this record of his will not be broken in any test for a very long period of time in the future. Everyone in the hall quietly let out a bitter laugh upon hearing Elder Cheng's voice. This Ye clan was indeed like a hundred-foot worm that refused to buckle. Even in a life-and-death situation, they were able to find such a terrifying helper. From Xiao Yan's performance, it was likely not going to be a problem for Xiao Yan to enter the top three in the two subsequent tests. As long as they passed this test, the Ye clan would once again possess the strength to survive. Next, will be the last two sections of the test. Once these two sections are over, the final result for this season's five great clan test will appear. Elder Cheng smiled at Xiao Yan. His smile was filled with an additional earnestness and friendliness. He was undoubtedly much warmer when compared to his indifferent self earlier. Xiao Yan also smiled in response to Elder Cheng's friendliness. He took two steps back, only to sense a gaze that caused his soul to feel a little fear. He turned his head and his eyes collided with the black-clothed lady in the leader's seat of the CAO clan. The corner of CAO Ying's mouth was lifted into a slight arc that was filled with temptation when she saw Xiao Yan shoot his eyes over. A bewitching aura spread all over the place, causing her to appear like a beautiful demon spirit that had descended into the mortal realm. 
A cautiousness quietly rose within Xiao Yan's heart in the face of the fearless demonic temptation of this demon spirit. This lady was not someone that he could randomly touch.